ready for service. More fishes here. How many more? Just two? There's only two up there. Huh? It's come to crunch time. 11 plates have gone out, we've got nine to go. Come on, Matt, let's go, mate. Have we got a piece there that's ready? Yep, yeah, let's go. Come on. Come on, mate. You all right? We've still got about half the fish fillets still steaming. Mimi, how is it? Coming. Oh, is that? Yep. Is that good? I think so. No. That, that one's not. That one's not. You can't serve raw fish. How is it? We've got one ready. Go on, just quickly get one. To basically be steaming these to order. It's so close, bud. It has to happen now. Come on, mate, let's go! We don't want to keep anyone waiting. We're going to have to get all of these plates out as soon as possible. You all good, Al? It's going to be a push. I've got my celeriac puree there. I've got that full of fall apart lamb and the crispy kale. But my jus is nowhere near as thick as I would like. I can feel my heart start to race. I'm just really hoping that the flavour's there. Service, please. Here's the green team's main course. Saltbush lamb with celeriac and kale. Immediate impressions, George. The sauce and the meat look really sort of pale and watery to me. Yeah. The, the flavour might be there, so let's, let's yeah. see how we go. The uh, celery puree is really good. I mean, it's very light. Um, it's pure celery. It's delicious. Does it taste better than it looks? Yes. Yes, it does. But the sauce is a, a letdown. It just needs a bit more time. You know, a bit more reduction. And sadly, the lamb, which should be the, the headline moment of the dish, yeah. it, it is what we suspected. It's a yeah. little bit bland, a little bit school dinners. Yeah. But there are some faults, aren't there? There are. Come on, let's go. Steaming the fish, it's definitely putting me in a tough spot. How's the fish looking? Good. Good? Yep. Yes, this could potentially throw me under the bus. One of you loaded up. Here you go. I'll read the load. But I want to send them out at optimum. To steam that fish to water was probably not the wisest decision. But to me, that's the best way to have it. I just hope the judges love it. Here we go. That's cool. Thank you. Matt and Mimi, they've got the north and they're doing a steamed barramundi curry sauce. Because I'm assuming that's going to be beautifully cooked. Look at that. Mine is beautiful. Perfectly cooked. Yeah, beautiful. I think in terms of representation of the north, this is spot on. It takes you there straight away. Grilled pineapple, I love the sourness and the sweetness of it. That curry sauce, I would love more curry sauce to go with the fish as it's going along, because I've ran out already, yep. and the fish cook perfectly. Balance with that, with that curry sauce is absolutely delicious. Tara chips, crispy, crunchy, salty, all you want. The fish, beautiful. We had the barramundi. It was lovely, really nice. So, nice textures. Yeah, lovely. Good enough fish. Come on, let's go. We need to start plating desserts, guys. So, let's finish these off, full service, and we'll get started. Wipe the sweat off your brow. Crack on now with dessert. It's your dessert, Harry. It's your dessert. Yes, Chef. So, today I'm taking care of the Blue Team's desserts. I'm making an orange blossom and honey cold set custard with a pecan crumble and pomegranate. There is so much pressure on me to perform today. I'm not that good with desserts, so I need to make sure that all of my elements are working perfectly. So at the moment, what I'm making is a pecan crumble. It's going to have a really nice sort of crunchy texture. It's going to work really well with the custard. 
All right, where are we up to with these desserts, guys? Come on, we're gonna split all these bananas. How's that praline going, Matt? Yeah, it's going in now. It's time for Mimi and I to dig deep and just absolutely push it to the end. I'm putting a sorbet into the freezer until I have to serve dessert at the very last minute. Come on, mate. I really need to get on the syrup for the cakes. I had to stop to help Matt and I've left it a bit too late. Say ginger, it's gotta be gingery. How's this taste? Right, we're gonna need a lot of syrup, mate. I need to get it on the cakes as soon as possible. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, Mini. Ah, the whole challenge is that we need to do Western Australian produce proud. What reminds me of WA is the mining. So when you dig underneath the soil, you find all these elements and textures. My chocolate soil is going to cover some panna cotta and some saffron oil, pistachio biscuits, chocolate mousse. Oh, I'm dead my arm. I've got so many different elements to my dessert. Have I got enough for three? I've got to make sure that I have enough for 20 plates. There will be three panna cotta, two pistachio biscuit, three drops of chocolate mousse covered in a bit of saffron oil, also with the chocolate soil over the top. Little bits of thyme just to help break through that sweetness. I'm taking a risk today with my combination of ingredients. I'm doing a goat's cheese mousse with figs. I feel pretty good about doing a goat's cheese mousse. I just want to make sure that the balance of the flavour is right. My figs have finished poaching in Tasmanian red wine and vinegar with some cinnamon. I'm really happy with how they're looking. I decide to use the poaching liquid from the figs to garnish as a sauce. I'll just bring it down. You just need to balance it. How's that? What do you reckon? Let me try it. I just hope the bold red wine flavour in our sauce is going to kind of just work really well with the goat's cheese. Ooh. We might need to let it develop a bit, which is going to cost more time, but I want to get it right. Start plating, go. Go, 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 go. Need to move now. Yeah. Let's go, let's go. Mate, got to move. Don't work over the top of each other. Dessert service time <gasps> starts now. Let's go, guys, come on. Oh, my God. Great, flat out. All right, so this will just go straight with the next 10. Yep. We're in a really good space. We've already got 10 already set up. Service. Sure, we definitely got enough. I don't know, yeah. We're plating up the last panna cotta and... Is there any more? Trent's like, we don't have enough. One, two, three. You got enough? Far out. Oh. This is my fault. Service, please. Service. Service. service door. Nah, I thought we had enough. I can't believe I let that happen. All right, do I have any more panna cotta liquid left? Things like that could cost me the competition. 